Hello, welcome to the Ball Street Social Club. We've got a whole new cast of people with us this week to talk through the biggest news stories breaking out of the weekend's Premier League action. And Well, I would say I'm beyond, but that's, that's not the case at all. Um, let me introduce people. We've got Matt Harrison from Los Boyos. Peter Ped McPartland from Toffee TV stepping in for the one arm man. He was off um, killing the fugitive's wife, he, I he, guess. He's in the parts unknown with Undertaker <laughs> and uh, Ultimate Warrior. And, uh, and James Clark from Reed Aston Villa as well. First and foremost, then, coincidentally, <laughs> yeah, no, it's perfect. It's a we've nice got, coincidence, yeah, I would say. Perfect. We've got the boys here. I, uh, we'll come to you in a, in, a, in a moment, but I think it's only fair that we start <laughs> yeah. with Tim Sherwood. Yeah. He's gone. He has gone, and I'm. Um, quite happy to kind of like announce that and kind of him to go out the door essentially yeah. he wasn't good enough his tactics were questionable at the best of times he liked Gilles which he, is only acceptable yeah. if your name's Marty McFly yes and that, <laughs> all way and I was dead all way <laughs> yeah and it, 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 it's just, it just didn't work for him he didn't trust the kind of contract that he signed, we signed up to he played the wrong teams like his line up against Swansea was questionable questionable when it came out and it was just it was just doesn't work for him and it frustrated me really because like he's a nice lad. He comes across as yeah. a nice guy. But he just it just didn't work. He's just not good enough for, for Villa. I, I thought it was it just felt to me doomed from the beginning. I yeah. he never he, he felt like a Charlotte manager, to be yeah. fair, from, from from day one, you know, he was he was given the, the Spurs opportunity, wasn't he, when he yeah. clearly wasn't yeah. ready for that opportunity. Yeah. And then, I don't know whether he's just great in interviews. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't even think Quest, he's... I just, he is. I, just, he I is. just thought he was a bellend. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just I thought like he was... I just thought, yeah, that's it, he comes... Yeah. It's whatever side you yeah. come down yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I just don't think he's a football manager. No. Or no. He, doesn't, he doesn't deserve... Well, certainly didn't deserve the right to manage a no. club like Aston Villa. Yeah. In good times or bad, bad times, Aston Villa are a, a big, proud club. Mm. And he had no credentials to do that job. Um, and I'm glad he's gone. The yeah, weird thing I found with him was he made this big deal about Tottenham's recruitment policy, again, these people in, and he said, oh, we got in all these different players that weren't experienced when they went on the sort of Gareth Bale binge of money. Yeah, yeah. And then he did the exact same thing at um, Villa. He bought in... Sort of went for the Newcastle well, that's, that's policy and bought in lots that, of French players. That's exactly and, my point. Yeah. He was obviously told when he was signing for Aston Villa, right, we're going to be working in like a scouting system and you're going to have mm-hmm. a director of football in, in front of you. And this is the situation. But for some reason, he signed the contract yeah. anyway after just having the same mistake done to him in Tottenham. So I don't understand like his way of thinking. The, so it's just it just really infuriates me because we had great players sitting on the bench throughout the last 10 games. Jordan Vera too. Jordan Marvey, who's been dropped for the last two games, who's been one of their best players. We've got uh, Jordan Ayew, who he insists playing on the left-hand side. And it just... We're creating our own pl- problems. So it just comes to a point where it's like, look, Tim, if you're not going to take... To do your job, what you signed on the dotted line to do, yeah. then what do you want us to do? Yeah, like, that, you've got um, no choice. That, is it Amavi, the French yes, left-back? He's Jordan always Amavie. looked quite good, so... And on Saturday, I thought Kieran Richardson yeah. played left back, and he was he was atrocious. It's, it's just quest- I just don't understand it. To me, it feels like his confidence is as big as attribute, but it's also as big as yeah. downfall. Yeah. He, he he's never ever going to be someone who's going to sit there and go, well, actually, I might need to reconsider that. He completely believes mm-hmm. in himself. He he. You need to back yourself as a manager, yeah. don't you? But yeah. I just don't. But what, where's what, the evidence that he's got it? Yeah. Exactly yeah. to back. He, he's tried to be sort of this Mourinho figure yeah, or someone yeah. who can come out and and spout. Things that are going to take He's the heat off. Harry, yeah. Yeah. My, my yeah. Read that Mark Two. Harry read that Mark Two. Basically, <laughs> that's all he is. I started worrying from the day he said that um, Bentaleb was the best midfielder he's ever worked with. And <laughs> we're just putting into consideration that he's worked with Gareth Bale. Yeah. Can, we, can we just like... Yeah. I started having worries then. I thought, fair play, he knows what he's got. He's got Ray Wilkins in the backroom staff. He's got Tony Parks, pretty decent backroom staff members. Just, But still, you can't... You can't like te- te- you can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? My, my favourite Tim Sherwood quote since he's been manager is I think it might have been last weekend, the weekend before, and they're like, "Oh, so what are you going to do about this, Tim?" And he's like, "Oh, we'll just keep swinging. Yeah. Something will work. Yeah. 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 This, that's, that's his tactical yeah. noose. I'm, just keep swinging. Dis- Something will happen." Yeah. Yeah. I'm just disappointed that yeah. he came in and it was all about his win ratio. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why didn't that continue in his press comments every week? The thing, the thing, the thing was for me is like I felt like he was trying to convince himself with the win ratio. It's yeah. like, well, if you look at the piece of paper, I've got. 55% win ratio so like I must be good like yeah. as if he's not I'm, an ama- can... I'm amazing on yeah. Tekken 2 on the Playstation yeah. 1 as well like, I'll take you all on just keep swinging just keep swinging he's one of those I think he knocked back 
like a lower league job because he, he felt like he deserved a Premier League one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're thinking, swindling. no, that's exactly where you should be. Yeah. Yeah. Cut yeah. your teeth. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, exactly. he's the kind of manager that you 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 imagine that if he went down to the lower league, mm. he'd find it a real struggle yeah. and yeah. might never actually get himself yeah, back up there. So he's obviously thought, well, it's all right, it's easier enough, this football lark, you know, I'll, I'll sign to play, I'll motivate people, yeah. I'll tell them to play some attacking football. Fair play. I mean, you know, if Sky Sports come knocking down to me and said, you want to come and do this show, I'd go, yeah, I knew I'd, I'd know I'd be absolutely terrible, except for Soccer AM, <laughs> because anyone could do Soccer AM. I'd sign the contract, get the four years, and then let them find out I was a complete yeah, blagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, that's, that's fair just enough, isn't it? Oh, well, it's like, yeah. it. it's like, it's like going for a temping job, isn't it? Oh, I mean, Microsoft Word skills yeah. are beyond yeah. reproach. Yeah. Customer service, brilliant, boys. Yeah. 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 Phot- Photoshop? Yeah. Wow. Photoshop? Yeah. How much difference is it from paint? <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. He's got, yeah, it's, it's that episode of Friends, isn't it, where Joe, he says he can do, like, tap and all that kind of stuff and gets dropped. Get dro- Sherwood's yeah. gone there and they've gone, OK, how do you want to do the warm-ups? And he's gone, oh, God. <laughs> just do some laughs. <laughs> just do some laughs, lads, that'll be fine. Um, so, who do you... Who do you, you think's favourite and or and and or mm. who would you like to see replace him? See the favourite at the minute is that Remigarde, he's the former Leon manager and he's Arsenal Wenger's protege. I know a lot of the backroom staff have come from Arsenal now after mm. Tom Fox has been employed. So, um, but personally, I'd like to see him in because he's done a lot and a lo- he's done a lot at Leon with very little money yeah. and still stay competitive, which is tough with PSG, Monaco, etc., etc. So, I'd like to see him in. O- alternatively, uh, probably David Moyes for me. Wow. Go. Go! <laughs> no, 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 say it, no! <laughs> See, you didn't even let me finish. Go and knock down David Moyes' door and drag him back and really? make him your manager. Yeah, yeah. Well, David Moyes yeah. is a... David yeah. Moyes is a brilliant a manager. manager. I don't care what anyone says, but David Moyes is a brilliant manager. He would do wonders. They, they, their owner has wanted David Moyes mm. for about the last 10 years. Go, this Remy Gardy, he does French telly. No, but you can't, you can't dismiss his th- th- three seasons in France. Where well, I can't just by you finishing it. Just it's weird. It's weird. Just in gone. France, so, yeah. with, I honestly would just go and He's knock that through. Some great players though. Umiti, uh, Lacazette. Uh, I think it's Fakir he's bought. Who's a favourite? Tell me one or no. You what, sorry? Tell me one or no. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate, but that, no, I'm only messing. But I would go. All the Lacazette yeah. fans and yeah, the yeah, fans go. Twitter's just going to explode. Hipsters. I would go and I would get over and I. Make Moyes an offer, yeah. can't. honestly, because the only issue with Moyes, though, mate, is that I don't think he's had enough time to rebuild his reputation. He probably will come in and be fine, but can you imagine the pressure he comes back into the Premier League well, on? Well, the the yeah. press are going to be looking for him to, to, to cock up, you know what I mean? There's already Isn't that. He, he's, 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 he's got that stigma attached maybe to Maybe he has, but, but are Villa in a position where he can really roll the dice? Yeah, Moyes yeah, came yeah. into Everton in a very similar position, yeah. if not yeah. worse, because the foundations at Everton. Were, were, were rotten and he had to turn that round yeah. as well as turn the team and I think Villa are in a perfect position for a man like David Moyes now yeah, yeah they won 4-0 at the weekend but it, I'm sure he'd be if, if there was a way to come back to a Premier League club where he could re-establish and, and, and prove himself once more yeah. without that uh, the, uh, the pressure of relegation is big but I don't think it's as big as trying to win the league for mm. Manchester United yeah. so I would I honestly he'd be the only man yeah. for me I suppose he could do yeah. what, the same things like you know Pulis does I yeah. guess Pardew come in he doesn't need yeah. to go in and you're right he doesn't need to go in for European qualification no, yeah. you've got a season or two where Villa probably be I'm deliriously happy but yeah. you know <laughs> if, if you lose that you lose the fear of relegation yeah, yeah, get yeah. back to a nice how hard is like, it to actually stay up being it's relegated as Dave Bassett. No, but being relegated, <laughs> yeah. very, yeah. Very being relegated is a lot harder than staying yeah, up, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You've got to yeah. be really, really bad. And ask your manager. Oof. That's a dig. That that's a dig. Right though, you know. To be yeah. fair, on the on the David Moyes point, the only thing that, for me why he's not le- leaving Sociedad and coming back is I think Sociedad are hanging on for the compo, and we've yeah. just and we've just paid. X amount of quid to Tim Sherwood to terminate his contract. Yeah. Would Randy Lerner, who's been wants to sell the club, want to spend another X amount of pound, potentially up to up to, up to like five million for Sherwood on managers like Sherwood yeah. and Moyes? 
and then you've got a January transfer window right around the corner. I don't think he will. No, that's what makes. What do you think to um, Brendan Rodgers? Well, here's the one. That was yeah. the one I was going to bring. Because I think those he players should not are... touch that job. <laughs> no, he shouldn't. But but no. Rogers, like. I, don't, I think the players would be quite suited to him. They're quite neat little, yeah, like tiny the mid, players. The, the midfield, it really <laughs> click. It would click. Like, but that's Brendan you don't. Rodgers. You don't want that though. Yeah, yeah. You don't. We don't need that. Yeah. You, need, you need what you need at the moment is to someone go in there and not pamper them. You need someone to go in there with a rather large bat. And say this is <laughs> no, and say this is how we're going to do things, yeah, and this yeah. is how we're going to stay up. The the idea of I, this is why I don't get the Remy Gardy thing. He's probably a re- really good Matt coach, and he's probably mm. got a lot of things suited to him. But is this really the time you need to go in with a team yeah. that have got three points mm. or whatever? It is? You need someone who's going to go in there and go. We're going to get you up that league. It's not going to be pretty, but we're going to get you up that league. Yeah. See, my argument on the Brendan Rodgers is, is I I don't necessarily want him because he's he's evident with what he's done at Liverpool that he can't really create a defence mm. yeah. and like our problem is conceding goals yeah. so like that kind of it'd be the perfect perfect exactly it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be disastrous because we're just letting goals and we wouldn't score any goals because we don't have any, a decent striker we've just sold yeah. our best striker to you guys it's yeah. why these people like Pulis and Allardyce continue to have work yeah. because they are they just go in there they do a job and then there's a cycle where mm. clubs get bored yeah. of them yeah. because the, the their yeah. ambition goes from there yeah. Yeah. to there and yeah. and I think that's Stoke and West Brom yeah. and and even like the West Ham's yeah. in this world they set they steady the ship they go this is great we get itchy feet we want to play yeah. the West Ham way the West Brom way you know what I mean and yeah. they want to play they want to play a more expansive brand of football and then generally speaking West Brom be the perfect yeah. example yeah. Well, it goes like, tits up yeah. and then they get another guy in to come and stay. Well, that's why like, I like Moyes because I think Moyes he can do both can do both yeah. he can, he can get he can get the he, he can cycle up and then up again he's got that about him and I know his his, his reputation is tarnished but that's at Man United you know mm-hmm. and. Yeah. I, and I still think he's got a lot going for him. I'd really, he'd be the only candidate I'd want him yeah, as a Villa fan. Well, I'm interested to know people's thoughts at home watching this. Who do you think would be the best fit for Aston Villa? Um, let us know that in the comments section underneath. But what we've got here, obviously, we've we, we, we've gone very Villa heavy. <laughs> yeah, here. yeah, fine, yeah. So massive that, game for that was a massive game for. It Schwartz. was a big game, and actually, on like the Villa sort of manager thing, I heard one rumor last week saying. Gary Monk to come yeah, in there yeah. for, and I thought, not in a million yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was crazy because, like, I believe last week his odds were slashed massively to be mm-hmm. sort of the next manager sacked, and we were all sort of looking at each other like, really? Mm-hmm. I just, I just can't see that happening for a long time. Yeah, it'll take. I think we could even get relegated, and he would yeah, stay. stay. I can't see who we could get in that would be better suited for us. And like, he's still only young. Um, he is learning. You know, he's learned already to get rid of the gilet. So he got rid of the gilet <laughs> he after. Got, he, the he, he, went, he went to suits and then we got our highest league finish ever. So There you go. No, it's, it was, yeah, it was a massive game Saturday. and mm. um, I was amazed because I, I basically I've pretty much switched off from Premier League football <laughs> for the vast majority of the season. <laughs> You've been too busy studying the clock book, though, haven't you? Studying yeah, the book, it's... yeah, just watching Bruce Dortmund yeah. games. Yeah. And, and dressing and up as clock in the mirror and just... Yeah, like... h- h- hiding under my quilt <laughs> and then I'm being very nervous when other people walk in the room. Um, but I, uh, so I, when I looked at it, I didn't realise because Swansea in my head, because they've been, mm. I've had so many Swansea players as a staple of my fantasy football yeah. teams all season, yeah. that I was amazed that you had kind of been, been on that bad run of form. Yeah, but, yeah. So. You, would you, I mean, Aston Villa pretty much have been the turning point for oh, a, definitely. a lot of teams so far. <laughs> Chelsea have had a bit of a break from there. <laughs> if we, yeah. we beat, we yeah, beat yeah. Villa, Chelsea can beat them then, you know. You know <laughs> yeah. No, it's... You, 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 you're back in Swansea then to, to, to get back on a yeah, it's Yeah, it's just been it's been a really strange month because people forget in August we beat United, we drew drew at Chelsea when we all thought Chelsea were still good at that point because the first game of the season. <laughs> but um it's just and then John Joe Shelby came up because I, I was saying it was getting a bit boring with John Joe because he was being good and calm and consistent and then he goes <laughs> We're going to get in the Champions League and we're all like, oh, John, no, John, 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 John. John. Yeah, there he is, back to the old There John. he is again. And then, and then we lost to Watford, um, who did a pretty, they did a good number on mm. us, actually. They mm. they were really good against us. And then, I don't know, it just sort of fell apart and it was hard to put your finger on why, really. Um, Baffy Gomez, his form just went, disappeared. Um, he just he just plays offside now, I saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was, think, it's, think it's something like he's on 23 offsides in so far this season. I think second. Anyway. He is consistent, <laughs> yeah. And then I think like second place is like Pele on like eight or nine. So <laughs> so he's really going for that crown of most offsides. Um, Gilfie Sigurdsson, even when we're playing well at the start of the season, his form, like you said, he's the ultimate fancy football mm, player. Yeah. Um, his form just 
just disappear? Did, did we don't know what really happened with him? Cause... Can I just thank you though for for Andre Ayew? Oh yeah, who oh, has yeah. literally saved my season yeah, in he's, fantasy football terms. He's been. Um, to be honest with you, when we signed him on a free, I can't say I knew that much about him. I'd seen him in the World Cup, you know, when it was that like a year ago, um, and I hadn't seen much of him. And everyone was giving him all this hype, and I thought oh, I'm a bit worried here, but he has been yeah. sensational. And I'm not really sure why he just seems to pop up at the right place all the time, whether that's in the opponent's box, but even he gets back for us as well. Yeah. Was, and actually on Saturday, I thought, oh, we've blown this now, because he had a really good chance, mm. and Guzan saved it, mm. and then they literally went up the other end, and the other Ayu brother scored, and yeah. I thought, well, that's going to be the big headline. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite good of him to go back and sort win it out. last minute. I yeah. did enjoy the post-match interviews with both of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just like... Basically, want to die. Yeah. <laughs> you look like the saddest person yeah. on the face of the planet. Yeah. It's okay, I'll not score and win, please. Anything, just just take the pain away. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting battered on Christmas Day. Like, um, <laughs> ah, <laughs> we won. Yeah. Um, anyway, let us know your thoughts on um, I say on, on Villa, on Swansea, particularly on the managerial situation. Um, Matt, you're going to be here for the rest of the show, but you're coming up on your, for, for Lost Boyos, you're coming up on your 200th. My 200th ground ever. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's, been, it's been pretty crazy. It's, um, it's knackering at the same time as working and then going to all these different football games, but it's been, it's been fun, no doubt. Um, although I've got, I've, I'm at the Villa Saturday, I went to the game and I've come out with a bit of a cold, so I'll have to avoid Birmingham for a bit, I think. It's a bit of a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stay away from Birmingham. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't forget to check out uh, Lost Boyos on, on Twitter as well to see how he, to see how he gets on, whether you survived the two. Yeah, Grimsby, weekend in Grimsby. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Great. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check back for more of the Social Club show. We're going to be discussing Mourinho's meltdown. Is he the next manager for the chop? Uh, we're going to lord and magnify the name of Jamie Vardy as he enters <laughs> Premier League history. Uh, discuss Liverpool's need for patience. Why Everton should have done more against Arsenal. I don't know. And, uh, and, and a whole lot more. Cheers.